Hi, this is Carol Parisi, and we are in front of Tammy Duckworth's campaign office. And uh, we are speaking to veterans right now because Tammy Duckworth has served America as a veteran, which is an honorable and noble thing to do. And um, we have a lady here, sign that says, let our vets eat cake. Hey, Tammy, as you blow 2.5 million on Hawaiian shindig, shame on you. You were cited 12 times during those two years for non-compliance with state law, for breaking state law, for mismanaging and abusing tax dollars. The person who appointed you, Governor Blagojevich, was a, had a history of using his office for political gain. You were busted for driving a campaign vehicle to an official event. That's a pretty interesting thing. What is your name, please? Beverly Pearlson with the Band of Mothers. I have a son who served four deployments with the 82nd Airborne. And I just want you to put your camera on this gentleman. He's a hero right here. You see the sign he's holding. It says, Vets Against Duckworth. That says it all. Now, I would like to understand this. And how do you, I mean, how do you feel about Tammy's service? And do you think she's using it for political gain? I love anybody who served our country. Tammy's done that. But now why does she turn her back on veterans? What is she doing blowing $2.5 million on a shindig in Hawaii when our vets are suffering? This is a very difficult time for veterans right now. But you know what? This is very typical of the party that she belongs to, the Democrats. They're out to lunch. Americans are suffering right now. And what do they do? They just continue to blow money. I understand she spent $1 million on a party planner. Do you know what our veterans could do with a million dollars? I'd like Tammy to answer that question. Now, is this $2.5 million on Hawaii? Is that personal funds or is that taxpayer dollars? I understand she was the undersecretary of the VA when she took this little trip, not little trip, this lavish trip to Hawaii at the expense of $2.5 million. Shame on her.